Sometimes the devil will attack you left, right, up and down, all around. Because he and his workers see that you're headed to a magnificent destination. But it ain't just about the destination. It's about the journey as well. And within that journey, you got to move with kindness, compassion, strength. And be one who rebukes and resists the evil. And also be open to forgiveness. Don't close yourself off from, from forgiveness. I know you hear Rick Ross say, God forgives and I don't, but no, no, no. That's not, that's not the word. That's not the word. That's not how it go. Why you think some of these famous artists going through what they going through now? Because they steady mocking God and playing with God. I don't got nothing against Rick Ross personally. I just don't like the fact that he said God forgives and I don't because trust me at some point in life everybody is going to need to be forgiven for something and the reason we forgive others is because God forgave us first and when you forgive you open up doors of opportunity you open up uh, doors for blessings to come in and you free yourself you free yourself from bondage you free yourself from grudges. Grudges is a bondage. Never hold grudges. Always be loving. But don't be naive. Don't be dumb. You can be loved. You can be loved and not be dumb. You can be loved and still take care of yourself before you try to take care of anybody else. It'll come time for you to take care of others. But right now, take care of yourself. And rebuke and resist that devil. He see that you headed to that magnificent destination. But enjoy the journey. In due time, you'll be there. Because you've been earning. You've been learning. And you got the discernment. And the intuition. To know What's to come? And what to do when they try to stop it? Prayers, rebuke and resist. And at times, silence is golden. There, there is a time to speak sometimes. Yes, it is. It is time when it's necessary to speak. But a lot of times, most times, silence is golden. Like I said, that devil going to try to attack you left, right, up, and down because he see where you headed. He see your potential and he don't want you to get there. But you're going to get there as long as you keep God first. And it's only begotten sin. It's only begotten son after God. And then you. And then if you have a woman, you're a woman. Or if you have a man, you're a man. If, if, if you're a woman with a man. And then your children. But make sure that within that order, you take care of each and every one. Put God first, Jesus second, you third, your mate fourth, and your children. That doesn't mean that one goes not taken care of. That means you take care of all of them. Day by day, in that order, and love them. Peace and blessings to you. I'm out of here.